Hey everybody, Sean here, Board Paracord. Um, today we're going to do a monkey fist. Um, some people call it a monkey nut, monkey ball, monkey fist. It just depends on who you hear it from. Um, basically, it usually involves putting a marble or some sort of sphere inside of it um, to make it hold its shape. But we're going to do one without that today. and It's just going to be a three pass uh, monkey fist. So grab yourself about four and a half feet of paracord. I have about four and a half, five feet. This is gold. Um, it's a nice color. Maybe hard to see in this lighting, but it's kind of a dark, a darker gold style. Um, so yeah, we have about five feet here. We're just going to take one end for now and place it in, a, in the palm of our hand and remove your pinky out of there. So we're just crossing three fingers here to start with. And the first thing we want to do is lay it down like this, just as you see it. And you want to have about four or five inches down past your your last finger. And you're only using three fingers on this. Really easy to do. Grab your paracord and you're going to make three wraps moving to the right. So that's two and you can count them. One, two, three. And what you're looking for is you want to have three on each side and that's going to be kind of the thing that you're looking for the whole time here. So we have three here, but then if you flip over, you also have three here. So we have our three. Now you're going to remove your middle finger so that you have a nice opening in the middle here. You're going to cross over this finger here. Let me zoom in on this just a little bit. Try to make this a little easier for y'all. So you do your last, your last three pass here. And then you're going to wrap over. Make sure you get all the twists out of your cord too as you're going. You don't want, want those weird twists in there like that. Um, so wrap over your last one like that. It's going to cross like this. Make sure we're going to stay zoomed here. Um, it'll go around the back of everything. Just like that. And it's going to cross over the front. So that's that's one full pass, just like that. So it went around the back, and then around the front. Go around the back, up through that little area there. And I like to use my thumb to hold everything right here. And you want to make this incredibly loose. You don't want to be pulling tight on this to where it cinches anything up. You want this to be really, really loose. So that was two. We'll do it one more time. See that twist there? We just want to get that twist out and make sure that this is nice and loose here. Okay, so we basically, if we look at this, we have three passes here. We have three passes here. We're not going to count this one quite yet on this side, but we have three passes here because you're going to count this one. Three on the back, three on the back, and then if you look over here, we have three on this side. So we're good. We have three, 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 all the way around. Now you're going to take your end here, and from this cord here, it's just going to go basically through, through the middle. And this is where you can take your hand out. Just keeping everything nice and loose, but hold everything together at the same time. It's kind of hard. So we're going to take the working end through, and don't worry about just having two here because this is our third one here. That's going to go through there, so you're going basically where your finger was. You're going through this way, it's going to wrap around and come out this way, through this loop here. Grab my working end. So it's going to come up through here. And then you'll do two more passes. So one down. Come back up. And you want to make sure that all the cord stays um, next to the one beside it and doesn't cross over top of it. 
you can kind of pull this one tight just to keep everything together, but not, not very tight at all, really. All right, so we have two passes here. If we do one more through here, that will give us three. Three on the top. You wrap this back through. And that'll give us three on the back side here. Now we actually have four here because we're going to cut this cord and it's going to be hidden on the inside. So you won't actually see four cords coming through here because this one will be inside and it will end right here. So don't worry about having four there. But at this point you just want to make sure that all the sides have three. And that they're all next to each other and not crossed over each other. So we have, this one. This one's not going to count because we're going to either use that as the handle or we're going to cut it off. So you have three here, three, three, you got three up here, three. So we're all good. Now you want to start tightening this and you want to do it very, very slowly and methodically. Um, you want to start pulling tight, but you don't want to pull tight if that makes sense. You want it to remain extremely, extremely loose. And the only reason I say that is because as you're doing this, it's going to want to kind of scrunch down on itself, and then it makes it really hard to get it to look good at the very end. So I'm just pulling, I'm figuring out where the slack goes, and I'm just pulling it through, and I'm trying to get it out to the working end so that I can pull it through like that. Now, let's see, we have... This little section here is going to be kind of tricky because it's not very tight at all. So we're going to pull this a little tight just so it kind of holds everything together. Got a big loop here, so we're just going to work this through to the working end. And you just want to go real slow at this. You're just working it through. This is the boring part. This is the tedious part. If you're doing like a seven or eight pass, um, like on a golf ball or one inch ball, this is where it becomes, it, it really starts to test your patience. I did a two inch steel ball. I can't remember, I think it was an 11 pass. I had to set that thing down a few times and come back to it a day later. Just getting kind of frustrated with it. All right, so we're, we're starting to get there. Just got to keep on working these, working the slack through. Start doing this middle one here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this pretty close to the end, get this tightened up, and then uh, I'll come back, go over a few tips, and then we'll we'll finish it up. So as you can see, I'm down to the very end of this, and I'm going to zoom in on this because this might be one of the worst things I've ever made, and you might run into this too. I, I think I over-tightened this. Actually, I know I did. Um, you can see it's starting to pucker here a little bit. Um, definitely puckering here. You can get to a point on this where you just over-tighten it, and it, it doesn't look very good. The one thing I would say is that if you do have a marble, like a one inch marble to put, or not a one inch, like a half inch marble, put it inside and it will, it'll help make this all look so much better. I just got to a point where when I was tightening it, it just, it wasn't looking very good. Um, so I'm going to name this, uh, how to make a, uh, or, well, I don't know what I'm going to call it, <laughs> probably a monkey fist jig how to do and not to do this. Um, and how, yeah, basically don't over tighten it because you can, you can definitely mess this up by, by pulling too tight um, or going further than you think you need to. Um, I don't know how much this is going to help a lot of people out there. The, the method is definitely right. It's definitely the correct method. Um, but I think to make this look really good, you have to have something on the inside. Um, Otherwise, you're going to end up pulling too tight and making it look like this. Um, one thing that we need to do 
I said I would do is where this cord comes out and ends up making a fourth pass, you need to cut that and that's where you would seal it. Um, same as this one. This one could stay and use this kind of like a handle. Um, you could also just cut it and have kind of a paracord ball. Um, but, but that's the video. I'm really sorry it turned out this way. Um, <laughs> depending on which angle you're looking at, it looks good or bad. Uh, but yeah, it definitely did not turn out the way I would like. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a golf ball probably next week. And the golf ball will turn out nice. And you'll see we're going to use a jig on that one. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Um, there's a little bit of instruction to it, but more or less this did not turn out the way that I would like. So until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.